Hello. Um, there was some discussion on Classic Parker on website about how to balance fore and aft for the weight of your boat on your lift and how you know when it's balanced. Now I'm just going to show you how I do that and a couple other little things I do on this lift. Believe me, I'm, this is, I want other boats to stay in the water, so this is my, this is my first lift. Um, but there's some little, I, was call, I guess you could call them hacks. Start with, um, this is a Tie Tamer 10,000 pine lift. The distance between this cable centered on that eye beam down there and the aft one is eight and a half feet. Eight and a half feet. That beam down there is 12 feet. I'm going to here's a close up. That beam goes within about two feet of the stern of the boat. And that's when I'm, I am balanced right now, so I'll show you that in a minute. And then this 12 foot beam stops right after that one through haul fitting right there. Okay. Now, on this on this boat, again it's a Parker um, 2520 XLD, the weight of this boat. When I'm balanced on my lift, again it varies a little bit with how much fuel or gear or if my bimini tops on other things, but roughly on mine, when this guy post right here is between the base of the aft stanchion, the aft, the bow wheel aft stanchion, and this cleat. So if I'm somewhere right here in the middle of this, I'm just, that's where I'm usually balanced. Sometimes a little more forward, sometimes a little aft. Back here on this guide post here, I'm right near that drink holder. So, and how you tell is by grabbing the cables. You squeeze them together. And you can feel the tension. And you can walk up to this one, do the same thing. And I can tell this one is slightly tighter. Because I've got a little bit of weight forward. I could move back on the lift a little bit. But this is close. This is darn close. And you can tell a little difference. But that's close enough. That's the best way of telling it. Another other thing I do, these are these markings. I'm lowering the water, the boat into the water. Yellow is my caution. I get to green. And that green um, piece of tape is right at the water level. It means I'm ready to come off the lift. And the same. And of course, these are a different height because the boat's on the lift at an angle. So I just, that's how I can tell. I usually lay, raise the lift out of the water when I'm out, but not if I'm just out for a short period of time. Some other quick things I've done, I've raised this handle right here up because I can now get off and on the boat because I added this step. One extra step made a big difference. Uh, these two right here helps me get up on the boat without having to lower the lift down. Um, just like, so, so I can just get up and on, and that's just attached with a bracket. Okay. And one other quick thing I did this year was I added a weather vane. Weather, that's an Accurite Atlas six function weather station, and there's a remote, can, there's a can screen it that sends all remotely into the house, all the data, wind speed, wind direction, water, humidity, um, lightning strikes, all kinds of crazy stuff here. And then this was bolted. I had to get these three heavy brackets here. We are in hurricanes in here. And I had to cut and groove every one of these because this has to be perfectly this has to be perfectly level and square. So and I can I put three brackets on. And I can just loosen these three set screws and lower the pipe right down where I can reach the unit from the boat and to change the batteries. Of course, I, I use lithium batteries. That should be good for about a year. So, quick summary: use this. Even even if you have a single cable, I've been told you can still feel the tension and know if um, if you're if you're balanced well. You'll feel, you'll you'll feel a big difference in how the tension is. So, that's the best way of knowing if your weight is balanced fore and aft on the boat. Okay. Goodbye.